This week, Hottie Toddy got to talk with Gracie Massengill, a freshman here at the University of Mississippi, about her jewelry business, Shop Grace Elizabeth. Massengill started her business when she was only 14 and has been able to grow it with the help of social media. In third grade, I saw, uh, I think, Extreme Makeover Home Editions, and this guy had like made duct tape stuff and so I was like wait I want to do that so I tried to make duct tape shoes and then it turned out that they worked and then I, I remember going into Walmart and a woman was like oh my goodness where'd you get your shoes and I was like well I made them and she ordered a pair <laughs> so I went back to Walmart and gave her her uh, duct tape shoes and she paid me and I was like okay well this is fun I like making money I like making it um and then like having people ask for it. And so I, that was my first little business, duct tape stuff. Um, it kind of progressed into um, jewelry. So that's what I'm doing now. I do like gold pieces. These are my little earrings. Over quarantine, I was supposed to work at this coffee shop. It was delayed opening. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just go really into um, jewelry. And so that's when I got on TikTok and I started making these um, smiley face bracelets to just, I don't know, bring some joy because you always have to wear a mask. Um, and I was like, well, I want people to see my smile. And then through TikTok, I kind of met this girl and reached out to her on Instagram um, and kind of asked her how she did her like photo shoots and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, well, I would love to have some of your pieces and I can put them into my photo shoots and then I'll post pictures and tag you in it. And I was like, that would be amazing. And then I think it was her next TikTok. She had a model wear one of my necklaces um, and it like went viral. So that was super cool. Um, and then I did a couple giveaways with another entrepreneur. Um, so she kind of had like a hat that had a smiley face on it. And so we kind of had a little smiley face giveaway. And yeah, so that's kind of how I got to here. <laughs> Social media platforms have allowed Massengill to gain opportunities and learning experiences for her business. Really, it teaches me a lot. Like I wasn't expecting to learn a lot on TikTok. I was just like, okay, this is a trend. This is the next um, social media. I know I need to get on it. Um, so I just kind of created my business TikTok and then I don't like the algorithm for TikTok puts you on a certain stream of videos. I don't know how it works. Mm -hmm. So I followed and liked small businesses and so I could see how they package their stuff or ship out um, their inventory and it really helped me like understand the importance of a good um, packaging, a good um, process and like really showing your like customer how you do things so it allowed me I'm also like really big into videography mm -hmm. so I was like loving being able to put little clips together and show like kind of how I make this item um, so TikTok really helped in that sense gave everybody a little bit behind the scenes um, and then Instagram it really just I love the connections you can make um, so I would say that's a really good platform to like collaborate with people. Massengill says that people wanting to wear her jewelry is the biggest compliment. She just wants to bring people joy and make them feel confident. The Lord has given me a gift to create and I've just loved being able to do it. Mm -hmm.